Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki resigns membership of APC after meeting with President Buhari. Obaseki will open to achieve his second term ambition on the platform of another party. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has formally resigned from the Hall Progressive Congress. The governor announced his resignation after meeting with President Muhammad Buhari in Abuja on Tuesday, June 16, 2020. His resignation comes days after the party barred him from contesting in next week's primary election, jeopardizing his bid to win a second term in the September 19 governorship election. The party said his IAS code certificate and NYC certificate were defective, but the decision is widely believed to have been influenced by Adam Soshomole, the APC national chairman, who is Obaseki's politically turned adversary. The governor has met with high ranking personalities of the People's Democratic Party PDP in the past few days and is believed to be added to the main opposition party ahead of the september election wow this is serious life continues now that obaseki has left apc finally to join the pdp party he shows that he's not ready to relent on his effort coming as the governor of edo state the second term that is to show you that no retreat no surrender when it comes to politics <laughs> well a lot of people have the opinion that god will see him through that god will be on his side his supporters are still solidly behind him that no matter what oshomole does Obaseki will continue to emerge and will continue to be their leader. May the good Lord continue to help him if it's the will of God for him to remain the governor of Edo State, so be it. But one thing for sure, one thing I understand is it shouldn't be a do or die thing. Do your best and leave the rest. That is my own take on this. Well, a lot have been said. In fact, some are saying that he will laugh last. That he should just watch out. That God of Elijah will see him through. Well, even with the way some people are being supportive of Obaseki, there will still have some people that are against him. In fact, people, some are of the opinion that now that you are running back to the PDP, we will see how PDP will tolerate your shenanigans. Hmm. Oh my god then so let's see how they will tolerate you this time around well everyone with his or her own opinion but one thing is this now that a lot of people are of the opinion that we will accept which party will accept your fake credentials that is now something that is baffling me now he was disqualified from APC primaries. Now, going to PDP, does that mean his credential with PDP will be genuine? Because I don't understand what is happening. Well, in as much as uh, we believe that this is politics, but is this not obvious that these so-called parties are fraudulent if apc can reject him then why would pdp accept him and he will be a member to context for the governorship election
now it will be qualified to participate with that same fake resort fake credentials he got that made apc rejected him <laughs> this is serious wow should i say they will use sakama and jay <laughs> Well, let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.